So a lot of you have been wondering how I made the mask for my Spider-Man 3 Venom cosplay that you've seen in a plethora of cosplay videos on TikTok and or gaming cinephile Spider-Man related videos. For the occasion of earning 2,000 subscribers, I figured it would be best to show you guys a tutorial on how to make the Venom mask especially considering the fact that I made the mouth move. Also, just a side note, if you see the Christmas decorations in the background, this was filmed around last December when I started making the mask for one of my close cousins. So a list of materials that you will need are cotton balls, liquid latex, a pair of scissors and a sharpie, and I've used Insta Morph, which is like multiple plastic, that you melt and I used that to make these teeth that you're seeing right here in this little bag. I used those teeth for the 2018 mask and so for the one that I've been using since 2019 the teeth were made by fake nails and as you can see right here this is the one that I've been using since 2019. If you look at the 2018 cosplay video you can tell the difference. And of course, you need the Symbiote Spider-Man mask. Um, I got this one from Amazon separately. Now, it doesn't have to be the Spider-Man 3 mask, of course. You can pretty much do this with just about any Spider-Man mask. Since, as you saw, uh, early this past year, I did one out of the Gwynnum or... Uh, it's like, it's based, it was like a Carnage mask, but it was from the... Uh, Gwen as Carnage cosplay, so I used that mask. And as you can see here up front, this is the one that I used to make for my cousin. So, what I pretty much did first was I had to mark the mouth, preferably where, literally like where my lips are, and kind of like make sure the mask is on tight. And as you can see where I'm pointing right here, this is where I marked the Sharpie where I will be cutting the hole. So once again what I did was I put the mask on first and used the sharpie to mark where my mouth is and so that way I can cut this cut where I marked to make the hole for the mouth. Um, I do recommend being careful to cut the mask. What I pretty much did, as you can see, I used a mannequin head to cut the hole. And um, some of this footage is sped up. Well, actually, uh, most of this footage is sped up since this, uh, this making the since making the Vita mask takes me about uh, two hours, I would say. And so once you make the hole, go ahead and put the mask back on. And I think what I did was I was trying to make sure the hole was wide enough. You can kind of see this one looks a little bit too small. So you kind of want to see... <clears throat> Sorry. You kind of want to see if you can make the hole big enough. Um, sort of like, almost like this. And you can kind of measure how long you want the line um, if you look at the eyes um, I think what I did was kind of like go up to my I think I cut the hole I think what I did was I cut the hole up to my cheekbones and as you can see you can <laughs> you can see the mask itself makes me think of that unused mask from the film Spider-Man 3. Alright, so next step, go ahead and start tearing up bits of cotton balls, and then what you are going to do is use the liquid latex to soak them, and then go ahead and start making layers on the top part. I would recommend doing both the top and bottom part. It's kind of funny, look at it, looking at the footage now, you can kind of see Spider-Verse playing through the lens.
Okay, and so this is the part where I started putting the teeth on. Again, I would definitely recommend doing the layers on the top and bottom first. So that way it's not too complicated to put the bottom layer or top layer on with the other one um, kind of having to be in the way um, when, you know, like you can kind of see, you'll see how it's kind of tricky trying to get the bottom one when you can, I've already got the teeth on the top one. And of course, once you get the teeth on the first layer, go ahead and put another layer on top of the teeth. And of course, try to make sure you fill in as much empty space as possible um, on the top. Kind of like as you see right here, you could see what I was trying to do. Try to make sure you balance how thin or thick the layer is. Because um, you can kind of see in the car. Well, if you look at the carnage mask, the one I've already done, the layer was too thin enough, and so it made like the teeth kind of kind of like go uh, inward or sideways
Alrighty, and so once you have the teeth and gums or lips together, go ahead and start painting. This is more so optional, but go ahead and paint the lenses if you kind of want to make it, give it that uh, messier type of eyes like Venom has. I did paint the webbing of the other masks that I use uh, to kind of blend in with uh, the rest of the cosplay that I wear. Alright, once you've done the lenses, if you've chosen to paint the lenses, go ahead and paint the teeth, uh, preferably uh, yellow, or more of like a different like uh, tone, or I mean shade of like a like tooth color of your choice. I chose yellow to kind of um, kind of I just it kind of fit with me. As you can see right here, I painted the very bottom and top of the mouthpiece black to kind of visually create the lips. And then for the rest of the mouthpiece, as you can see, is uh, paint to kind of create the gums. And I also, you can kind of see, I kind of did a bit of angling around like with the mouthpiece to kind of make it look like you know gums because of you know how his mouth stretches once you're done with everything let it sit for an hour or so so that way everything can dry up and that's how you make a venom mask with a movable jaw so thank you guys for watching i hope this video can be very beneficial for those that are wanting to make a venom mask and Thank you for 2,000 subscribers. See you guys. Man, Peter really let Gwen down. I'm gonna put some dirt no, in your eyes. No.